My universal credit experience is over. I got what I wanted from it. I got a bit of breathing space to help get myself back on track and a small insight into the system from a self-employed perspective. And I think some people have found that very useful. For me, it was, as I said, that bit of breathing space I needed. And a transition from what was the working tax credits that I was entitled to to something that I'm not entitled to. So the one year that I've just had is the protected migrational year. Migrating from the legacy benefits, which in my case was working tax credits, towards universal credit, which I'm not eligible for, but it gave me that year. And that has been really important to me. So what happens next? I always monitor my income on spreadsheets so I know what's to come, I know what I'm going to get and this year provided everything ticks along as it has been so far will be absolutely fine but it's what happens next year 2025. This last 12 months has given me a chance to regroup um, it's enabled me to have a little bit of breathing space mentally and motivationally because I've struggled to stay on track with my business. I've done other work, I've found other money, I've found different ways of doing things, but by, my business temporarily did not benefit from any of that. And I felt that I needed some time to put it aside and just do other things. I just needed some time to try and find my creative flair again and assuming that would happen, I mean if it didn't happen then I would have to rethink, rethink how I was going to work in the future. But I've been lucky that over the last month or so that creative energy has come back and I now feel ready to, to go forward and do what I need to do to stay in business but also still have those other little side hustles and other income streams that I have because they are all equally important. So knowing that the rest of this year is going to be okay that gives me what is basically six or seven months or five or six months to work out what happens next year. How am I going to fill that universal credit gap in my finances? It's about £4,000 worth of, of gap and I will do another entry here about the numbers. So I'm actually going to look at the spreadsheets that I've been keeping for the last year for universal credit um, and break it down to see what's actually been going on for the last year. I've worked out that based on the way things are, I need to find the equivalent of an extra £325 per month going forward from January next year. So this has galvanised me into action. I need to work hard on promoting and marketing my business now that I am feeling like I'm back where I should be. And I knew that would be a temporary blip because this has happened before. And it's funny because I was in a shop this morning talking to a lady who is also creative and had gone through a similar thing. And we've all gone through it multiple times where you can't constantly just be making stuff. You can't just be creative all the time. You need breaks from it. You need mental breaks. You need different pursuit breaks. And then it all comes back and you want to carry on. So that's really all that's been happening. The most important thing, of course, is simply that I earn more than I spend every year. So I need to keep monitoring my outgoings and making sure I'm keeping my outgoings down. 
um, and then look at how the income is going. There are all sorts of ifs and buts. Things could get better next year on one side hustle, they could get worse on another. And it's really a case of just monitoring everything and seeing, just seeing where things go, but also constantly working to improve them and promote those. Um, I don't feel sad that I'm no longer getting that universal credit, but I think for a lot of people who are in similar situation to me, they know that they're not going to get the proper regular universal credit, or maybe they just don't want the hassle of it. They don't want to be pressured into getting a rubbish job just to satisfy the system, a job that will bring nothing to them. Um, from an emotional and a mental perspective and may not even be enough to pay what they need it to pay but if you know that you have been given that year that is protected that you that you can have and there's not so much pressure on that protected year you don't have to meet the minimum income floor every month there will be bad months there will be good ones and as long as you can demonstrate that you are trying and that you are making improvements then that year is yours and that will give you some space to think about what you're going to do and don't leave it to the last minute think about it all the way through right I've got this year I have this extra money coming in to protect me um, now I'm going to work hard on doing this this and this or I'm going to explore doing this or I'm going to start doing this now and it may be that you do end up with a bunch of small income streams but sometimes that variety is all you need I'm not very good at routine I get very bored very easily I don't like doing the same thing day in day out so to have lots of little side hustles and little doing a little bit of that and a little bit of this and I'll go off and do that and then I'll come back and do this that keeps me interested so that's really, really important. So that's really where I am at the moment. This is just post end of universal credit. It's official. I am no longer a universal credit claimant. Um, I wanted to get inside the system from a self-employed basis and see what was going on. And I know that it has been useful for some people. So, it, you know, if you haven't started on that journey this will be relevant to you because they are still migrating people over and a lot of people say oh it's not worth it's not worth the hassle it's not worth trying and I think it was something like 28 percent of people who should have migrated haven't bothered because they just can't be bothered to navigate the system I think it's worth it as I say I'm going to do the numbers but I have brought in more money on universal credit than I did on working tax credits but as I say, I will go through that and I will um, give some clarity to all that so those numbers make sense. So it's just a moment of reflection, really. I can't say that I'm sad to be leaving the system. I'm quite glad to not having, be having to do an extra set of spreadsheets every month because I already have two and three is just, you know, it's getting silly now. And that's it. It's over. But do watch out because there will be some, as I say, some other videos coming afterwards that just look at the numbers, a bit of reflection on what's happened for the last year and, and how useful it has been to me because I, it has been incredibly useful. Because as I, as I say, it's given me that breathing space to get my act together, to work out what I wanted to do, to build on what I had in a safe space with um, with additional money coming in that was enabling me to focus on those things without panicking so think of it like that if you're if you know you're, you're going to be on that transitional year but you're not going to get anything afterwards that year could be really important to you it'll give you the time to decide what it is you're going to do to decide whether what you're already doing is enough whether you have something to build on or whether you need to start again. I just thought that would be an interesting addition to this playlist, which is my Universal Credit playlist. 
um, thoughts and comments below if you've been on the system what you've got from it what you don't like about it um, it's a very flawed system as we know but you work with what you've got um, yes yeah, so stay in touch um, I may not be a claimant anymore but if I can help if I can you know put out any information that's useful the playlist is there so please go over and have a look if you need that help uh, I try to put things into lay layman's terms and make it easier to understand than it seems to be elsewhere so thank you for that and I'll speak to you soon bye bye